Hello, all you wonderful fools. It's time for the Mr. T Show. All aboard! Here we go, let's start the show, hosted by Ms. T. Nintendo video games are the favorite ones for me. News and reviews, some gameplay too. Battling drones is what I do. And my Z, Z A H is the show by Ms. T. It's the show by Ms. T. Hey, fools, Ms. T again. And I'm here to ask you fools a serious question. Do you have a console prejudice? Now, what do I mean by that? Well, hey, this is YouTube's gaming community. And you know, there's a lot of silliness that goes on in this community. And you know, that's fine. That's part of this community. Uh, sometimes, I don't know if some of you fools are just trolling, or if you're really serious by some of the comments and some of the quote unquote video responses. Now, let me first say, as I'm sure you all know, Mr. T's a Nintendo fan. No doubt about that. Nintendo is the company that pretty much made me a gamer, no doubt. No other video game company will ever be able to replace that. No other video game company will ever be able to be the system that I grew up with, that I played with my family and friends with when I was a kid. And it's not just nostalgia for me. For me, and I say again, for me, Nintendo just makes the best video games there are. For me, their games are the most industry impactful and long-lasting and long-standing, timeless games. I don't know any other game company that makes games that I played when I was a kid that my kids today also enjoy playing. So for me, Nintendo will always be the best company. Now, even though I'm a Nintendo fan, I don't think I have a video out there where I tout that Nintendo is just the greatest video game company because, you know, that's just my personal preference. I don't try to push that on anybody else. For me, Nintendo is the best. And while I may feel they're better than everybody out there i never really try to push that and saying that i just don't understand this wanton dislike and wanton ass hurtery when it comes to nintendo or anything for that matter now mr t like i said is a fan of nintendo but i'm a fan of many things i'm a fan of the new york giants i'm a fan of the new york yankees i'm a fan of the tampa bay buccaneers so being a fan of those things doesn't automatically mean i hate the competition to those things i have spend my free time and energy on enjoying what i like and even though New York Yankees and the Boston Red Sox have a storied rivalry, you think Mr. T goes on to Boston Red Sox fan pages and gets into arguments with those fools and spends my time trolling them fools and talking about how much better the Yankees are than them? No, fools, I ain't got no time for that. So why is that acceptable when it comes to video games? Why am I the fan who is just, you know, spending my time talking about being a fan of what I like? How am I the quote unquote fanboy? How am I the fanboy when I as a Nintendo fan, pretty much play on everything. I own all the systems. And as far as current gen, I may not have them all yet, but eventually I'll have them all. But meanwhile, you're somehow more credible as a gamer. You're somehow more acceptable as a gamer when you tout the superiority of your PC or of your Microsoft console, or of your Sony console, and you don't play on a Nintendo console. How does that make you not a fanboy when you don't play everything and I'm a fanboy when I do? So what you're saying is I'm a fanboy because I am a Nintendo fan, even though I play on everything and you're not a fanboy. You have your preference and because you feel your preference is superior to Nintendo, that means you're not a fanboy. I don't understand. It don't make no damn sense to me. <laughs> you're an elitist and you're allowed to have a gaming console preference. You're allowed to have a gaming console prejudice. Meaning you won't buy a Nintendo console or uh, if you do buy one, you talk it down the whole time you have it. And somehow you're credible and, and non-biased. <laughs> yeah. As I said, I'm a fan of Nintendo and I bought all their consoles. I'm also a fan of video games. I'm not exclusive to Nintendo. And I already know what the argument is for some of you fools. Of course you're an exclusive to Nintendo. They don't make enough games. Blah, 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 blah. Of course you would buy another console because Nintendo don't make this and Nintendo don't make that. So Nintendo, especially the Wii U, can't satisfy your needs as a gamer. But hold on a second. I didn't start buying other consoles when I got the Wii U. Back in the day when we had an NES in the house, we also had an Atari 5200 and we also had a Sega Master System. We were mainly Nintendo fans, but we were also gamers. So we wanted to play 
everything that was out there. And during the NES, Nintendo was dominating. Technically, you could have had an NES and been very satisfied because there were tons of games on it coming from everybody. But no, we still wanted to play what Sega had to offer. And I remember getting Atari 5200 for my birthday back then and really enjoying it. I got Pac-Man and a Breakout, Super Breakout, I think it was called. And I also had um, a James Bond game on well, the 5200 and I enjoyed those games immensely and I did decide I'm a Nintendo fan so I don't need to play any other systems and when we get to the 16-bit era and that also continued I had myself a Super Nintendo but I also had a Sega Genesis even though I'm a Nintendo fan I'm a gamer and Sega Genesis had games that I really enjoyed as well so I also went out and got one of those because I'm a gamer I didn't say well Nintendo has a ton of games and they did for the Super Nintendo they still had a huge market share owning a Super Nintendo could have been enough to quench your gamer thirst but not for me I want to play everything that interests me even though I'm a fan of Nintendo and that's when I actually got into PC game as well because I was looking at games like Doom and Wolfenstein and some of those awesome LucasArts game, Monkey Island, and things like that. And I said, hmm, I want to play those too, because I'm a gamer. And those games look fun. And so even though Nintendo was dominating during the NES and the Super Nintendo era, I still wanted to play other games and systems. I still looked at things like the Atari Jaguar, who was very interested in that system. I wanted to see what the Sega CD had to offer, and the 32X looked very interesting to me. So I got those things too, because I'm a gamer. And those games look fun, and I wanted to play them. I've never been an exclusive to Nintendo platform gamer, but I've always been a Nintendo fan. I don't need to be a Nintendo loyalist. Like, I can't enjoy other games on other systems. I never claim to be that. I'm just a Nintendo fan first. So then we get to PlayStation 1 era, N64 era. I went out, and I got an N64, and I got me a PlayStation 1. A little bit later down the line, I think around 1998. And I also got myself a Sega Saturn because I'm a gamer. And all those platforms had games I wanted to play. And including my PC. I was still gaming on PC at the time. And I was playing, you know, games like Myst. And I think I even had Tomb Raider for PC at some point. But uh, I also had it on Sega Saturn. And I, I love the point and click adventures. And, uh, you know, moving into games like the online shooters, like Unreal Tournament, you know, uh, Quake. I wasn't into them as much as everybody else. I was more into point and click adventures and, you know, strategy and RPG games on the PC. You know, true PC games. That's what I was into mostly. I didn't really go out and buy console games from PC. But that's a whole nother story. N64 is to this day my all-time favorite console. But I didn't stop playing on other consoles. Or I wasn't prejudiced against other consoles like some of you fools. Every console eventually is going to have something on it that I want to play. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go out, buy that console, and play that game. It's that simple for me. Then we have the GameCube era. And I got myself a GameCube. And I had myself a Dreamcast. Dreamcast kind of came out during the, the end of the N64 PlayStation 1 era. But I went out and got one of those. And I had a PS2. It broke on me. And I bought another one. Uh, that one, I ended up giving those games and uh, that system to my little brother. That's why I don't have that one today. But again, then of course we move into the PlayStation 3. The Nintendo Wii in uh, 360 era. And around that time is when I stopped gaming on PCs. Because it got a little bit tedious for me. I got tired of upgrading. And I just said... I'll stick to consoles. And so I had me an Xbox 360, uh, Wii, and uh, uh, eventually I got a PS3 around 2007. And I mainly played Blu-rays on it because that was the big thing, Blu-rays coming out. And that's kind of how I justified spending so much money on the damn thing. That enticed me to buy one early on when I probably would have waited. And so I ask you again, do you have a console prejudice? Because I don't. And like I said, the argument of, well, Nintendo doesn't offer enough third-party games and all that nonsense, that's bogus. Because even when Nintendo did offer all that, I still went out and bought other consoles. Because I'm a gamer. I just find it hilarious when fanboys call people fanboys. They don't make no sense to me. I got fools who run in my channel every time I put up a video about indie games and talk about, well, the PC version is... They're superior, blah, 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 blah. And not realizing during his PC hand job that he's being a fanboy. <laughs> but loves to call me the fanboy. That's funny, fools. Check out my portfolio, fools. You can't fuck with Mr. T's gaming history. You don't even come close. I got consoles older than some of you fools. So who's a real gamer? So checking out my catalog, checking out my portfolio, what makes you think you're more of a gamer? Than Mr. T. You can't touch my gaming credentials, fools. You ain't even in my weight class. So step off. Yeah, I'm a Nintendo fan, and I can sometimes be a Nintendo fan boy, but that doesn't take anything away from me being a gamer. I got the battle scars in the catalog to prove it. So please, if you're a fanboy touting the superiority of your favorite console or PC, you don't get the right to call anybody a fanboy. So look yourself in the mirror, fools, and ask yourself this one question. Do you take kindly to your Nintendo around here? <laughs> Foos, like, subscribe, comment, and share.
with other Nintendo fans. And please, join the Facebook community, NFC, Nintendo Fight Clubbers. Friend me or follow me on Wii U or Nintendo 3DS. And you can follow me on Twitter if you like. Links below. Thank you for watching, fools. See you next time. Oh yeah, one more thing. Play Nintendo, fools.